after only one season at Kentucky, Brandon Knight demonstrated more than just scoring prowess. Scouts were also impressed with his mental game. As a point guard, you got to be able to take a couple plays ahead, know your, your mismatches, and know where the ball needs to go. But you got to react and stay in front. To test Brandon's ability to think on his feet, we measured his baseline reaction times. Then we repeated the test, but this time fired questions at him. Yeah. What does NBA stand for? National Basketball Association. How many championships does Michael Jordan have? Six. What is the length of the basketball court? Uh, 94 feet. Nice. Well done. Amazingly, with the added pressure, Brandon's reaction time slowed, on average, by only four hundredths of a second. Brandon's mental agility is a key component of his ability to help his teammates. Comparing their freshman seasons, Brandon actually averaged over 23% more assists per game than seven-time NBA All-Star Dwayne Wade. And when Brandon keeps the ball, he can finish. On a straight-up 14-foot jumper, Brandon goes 8 for 10. Off the dribble, 9 for 10. And he drains 10 for 10 fadeaways. All told, here in the lab, Brandon averaged 87% of his 30 total attempts. And his accuracy is rooted in textbook mechanics. Research has proven that the higher you release the ball, the better your odds of making the shot. Brandon consistently releases the ball at the apex of his jumps, roughly nine feet above the court. His launch angles fall within the optimal 52 to 54 angle range. And every shot has between two and two and a half revolutions per second. The ideal backspin to deaden the ball off the glass or the iron and find the net. Brandon Knight's mental and physical attributes enabled him to break Kentucky's freshman season record with 657 total points, 60 more points than Derrick Rose scored his freshman year. And Brandon played two fewer games than Rose. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.